This is Humility and Unapologetic Podcast. Welcome back to Humility and Unapologetic Podcast. Today we're going to shift shift the energy to sports talk with Dog C. What's up? Hey, what's up? Uh, I want to also take this time to introduce my new co-host, Mr. John Henry. What's up, y'all? Yes, indeed. You may recognize John Henry from episode three. Also, Dog C has a podcast coming soon entitled Real Talk Sports, so be sure to check them out on YouTube. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, so as you see, everybody dressing in like NFL gear or whatever, like a sports yes, team indeed. gear. So right now, we're going to take this moment for my guy to state his favorite team and why that became his favorite team. Yeah, of course you can see. You know I got the best team in the league on my shirt. I right want to say all that. Here we go. I know what's coming. But yeah, I'm an Eagles fan, man. Um, I, when I started watching football, uh, I think Brian Dawkins, he was like one of my favorite players at okay. the time. Yeah, you know? a Hall of Fame. Yes, yeah, sir. If y'all mm-hmm. know anything about him, y'all know he did not play about that football. Every time yeah. you seen him, it was action. So, you know, I just, when I started watching it, I, you know, just kind of got hooked on how he played the game and just a big fan. I started kind of liking Donald McNabb and the rest of those guys and the okay. Reed back at the time he was coach of Philly. And okay. I just liked the way they played football. They was winning at the time, you know, it was we was one of the teams in the league. So once I just got into it, that's they just had me hooked and I've been on them very since. Yeah, did you have a, another favorite team before the Eagles? No, no, not really. I, my only thing that I was about football was I hated the Patriots. That was, <laughs> <laughs> before I liked the Eagles, I hated the Patriots. So anybody that went against them, I was with it. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, they beat us in the Super Bowl that year. So, yeah. you know, we came back. We got our remake. We got yeah, our redemption. Redemption. So, redemption yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it must feel good to have one Super Bowl. <laughs> Why? Hey, I ain't gonna be throwing shots because I don't yeah, yeah. want to stop that. It's okay. It's, it, at least it's relevant. You know, you yeah, right. gotta go back in time. Mm-hmm. Get out, so. yeah. That's all right. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. That's another one. Shots fired. Shots fired. Yeah. What about you, Jane? Well, Chicago. Yeah. I, I was born there. I stayed there for, uh, for roughly about until I was 11 or 12. But uh, that's all I knew was the Bears. Mm-hmm. I mean, from day one, I, I got a baby picture. I ended up. Wearing Bears gear, so it was just kind of inbred and into me. And then after that, you know, it was more like I knew the Bears, but yeah, they sucked. I ain't gonna lie. Back in the '70s, you know, yeah, they sucked. Yeah. But as time went on, and I really got just hooked with the Bears was that '85 championship. Oh, okay, when we got that championship, and we beat New England. That was a great thing, and that okay. that just locked me in on being. A Bears fan, so it's been bear down ever since then, like for real. But you know, my early time, yeah, I was a Bears fan, but I liked the other players. Where our, our team really sucked back then. That's right. Yeah, y'all, y'all going through some rough patches right now. Well, well, you know, well, hopefully, uh, their uh, Super Bowl winning quarterback that that went to uh, Jaguars and now is with us. Hopefully, who y'all got now? Nick Foles. Nick Foles. Nick Foles. Oh, they come from y'all. Because I mean, yeah. Matt and Trubisky, he, he 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 needs to grow. Right. Right. You know, and hopefully with, with foes there that give him that push and we can once and then dominate, you know, and be the monsters of the midway that we always been. Yeah. Life's yeah. okay, the bright side to yeah. Y'all got some talent coming. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Y'all got some talent. What about you, you know? Oh, okay. Well, as you see, for this episode, I'm in NWA 9 right now with shades on. So, Straight out of Compton, huh? Straight out of Compton, man. Yeah. So, Raiders! Here we go. But it's all right now. Oh, yeah, R N for life, baby. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm a Raider, Raider Nation. But it ain't always been that way. I got to be totally honest. So, my first love for the NFL came with Rod Woodson. Okay. And, and Rod Wilson played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I didn't know. Don't right. kill the Raiders fan. <laughs> yeah, I was young, didn't know no better. So, so through all the years of watching Rod Wilson, Greg, Greg Lloyd, Cordell Stewart, and stuff like that, and of course, you know, the Steelers, they was winning at the they time. Were right. And I was real young. So, and my, my guy brother, uh, Anthony Williams, he just passed, Lord rest his soul. Uh, he was a Steelers fan. So, I just kind of seen how he loved him. So, I just kind of gravitated to him. And I always been defensive minded, right. and uh, so I just fell in love with the way Rod Wilson played the game, man. Old right. school, one of my favorites. Yeah, right. cornerback, safety, Hall of Famer. Mm-hmm. So Rod Wilson got traded to the 49ers. I became a 49ers fan. <laughs> but I, I, I always was a 49ers fan because Jerry Rice, Mississippi right. boy, yes, you know what right, I mean. Right, right. So 
I kind of pulled for the 49ers and I kind of pulled for the Steelers at the time. Then when Jack, when uh, Rob Wilson went over there, it kind of made things a whole lot sweeter for me. Right. Well, so, you know, I was pulling for the 49ers. Then they both got traded to the Raiders. And this was history ever since then. I knew that was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's been my, that's how my journey kind of took place. So, you know, it's been silver and black, die hard for about 20 years now. Yeah, and that, that's a lot of years because I'm still young. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, I was still a teenager, so that, that brings me to my next question. What y'all, what y'all feel about bandwagons? Because I, I feel like I was a teenager, so I wasn't really on the bandwagon. You know, uh, I, I at the time I kind of had like a favorite player. You right, know what right. I mean? Yeah, and I think that's what bandwagon starts off with with some people, except for them. I, I ain't gonna put the Saints fans out there, but when they won the Super Bowl, I have never seen an uproar in Saints fans. Yeah, and they went, but. I think bandwagon starts with, you know, with, with you like like you like the particular player. Yeah. So you gravitate to that team, and but more so is more about the player. And if they winning, you know, hey, yeah, I'm just gonna roll with you. Yeah, know, yeah. Player. But you know, I, I think that's how bandwagon starts. And all bandwagon ain't bad. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's my uh, my opinion of it too. Whoever's winning at the time, whenever. If they become your favorite team simply because they win, and then that's a bandwagon. Right. And then you jump to say the team that you like start losing, then somebody else start winning, then you like them. <laughs> so to me, that's a, that's a bandwagon. But in some cases, some people find their team through bandwagon. Yeah, you yeah. might like somebody because they start winning, then you get stuck with them. So yeah. you know, depending on how it works for you, you know, as long as you stick with them, then I ain't gonna necessarily call you a bandwagon. But okay. if you Every For year. Every championship team, <laughs> your team. Mm -hmm. then, yeah, that's a bandwagon to me. Yeah. Well, know. me and my guy, uh, Robin Nixon, we got this thing now. If you're going to get a new team, mm -hmm. you got to go without a team for like a, at least a year or two. Right, right. You know, okay. you can't just jump, just say, you seen all these Carolina Panther fans mm -hmm. come about because they was winning at the time when they right. had Cam. Right, right. Like, you know, who in the world was going to pull for the Panthers? Which, which would have been cool because they like one of the most uh, newest teams, right. like them, the Jaguars, and the Texans. Right. <laughs> so, you know, but if somebody come up to me and be like, uh, I've been a uh, Patriots fan, they're like, okay, well, kind of explain to that. Explain to me how you became a Patriots right. fan, you know, if, if it's because Tom Brady don't got, what, six rings? Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I'm like, like, who was your team before? Because I know you had a team before because when they had you play, so, you know, you got to kind of already been established and stuff like that. So, right. really, I ain't got no respect for bandwagons too much. But, like you say, unless you take, like, a year or two out and get that, that bull crap yeah. out the system. Yeah. But I will say this. I did used to pull for the Saints. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Only because they was the hometown team and they hadn't won a Super Bowl yet. <laughs> and... Majority of my family, they, they liked the Saints. So I just, you know, when they had Aaron Brooks and Joe Horn and all them, right. you know, every Sunday I'd be like, okay, I hope the Saints beat uh, the greatest show on turf, yeah. you know, the Rams. Right. Like, oh, shoot. Tough. Yeah, and I was like, come on, you know, pull it for the Saints. Then, after they won a Super Bowl, then I, you know, all the bandwagons came about. Yeah. Oh, I'm who that, I'm who that. Like, yeah. dude, used to be a. Cowboys fan, or you I mean, a Packers fan. Oh, Packers yeah, fan, you know that. what I mean? Like, so, so that, yeah, that, that's how I feel about bandwagon. Like, dude, where y'all come from? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, everybody got to start somewhere. I'm not so mad at Patriots fans no more because most of them became fans in the year 2000. Most of the majority of came back in 2000 okay. when they first started when they Super Bowl, whatever. Yeah. So it's 2020 now, so yeah. I can kind of give you that. Even with the Saints fan, I guess they started like, what, 06? So they like started 09. 09. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you got you about 10 years or more under your belt right yeah, now, so I can give you that, you know. But now, like, like uh, the older cats, I guess you can kind of get them a lead way because, you know, the Patriots been winning for a while, but... It is always up there in the air, like, who did you like before? Yeah, yeah. It's, right. it's, I understand where you're coming from. Right, right. So, uh, it, uh, Major League Baseball, you got a baseball team? Yeah. Oh, I'm a Yankees fan. Oh, man. me too. Me yes, too. Sir. Me yes, too. sir. Yes, sir. Yankees fan. Yes, man. sir. Yeah, I think uh, Derek Jeter, man, he was one of my uh, mm -hmm. favorite players in the league. I mean, I wasn't just so hands on on baseball, but when I did watch him, he was one of the players I used to look up to, and uh, this, the, 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 the Yankees was true for a while, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. they, they still there. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so, 
So we done kind of went on a little, you know, a little well, drop. We, we, we in the playoffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. championship. Championship right? drop. Yeah. You know, you talk Yankee, you talk championship. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Anybody else is a failure. You know, so we been yeah. on a little drop lately, but we going to get back to um, it, man. Y'all hold it down. Now, for me, and it's kind of funny, from being from Chicago, and mm -hmm. I, I lived on the south side, so by technically south side, I supposed to be a Sox fan. Right. But my dad loved the Cubs. We sit in Chicago and watch the Cubs. So I like them both, but if I had to just put one over the other, it's going to be go with the Cubs. I mean, I, I, I've experienced some of their droughts, and I, I sat there with my dad when he was frustrated because they couldn't get to the World Series, and right. uh, that just helped, you know. And But that was my first live game I ever saw. Best experience ever with uh, Harry Carey doing the uh, seven inning stretch, you know, saying, take me out to the ball game. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was like awesome. Now, that really just locked me in on the Cubs. So. Mm -hmm. That hard cuz pretty much, but I do pull for the Sox. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's cool. I mean, you buy you been from Chicago, y'all can kind of kind of go the way with that, you mm -hmm. know. And then, then you said some of the droughts, shoot, was one in a hundred years. Well, no, I wasn't there for the whole hundred years. Oh, that's why I was there okay. for some of the droughts. I got you. I got you. Yeah. And y'all just was y'all um, y'all be Cleveland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Was rooting for Cleveland at <laughs> the time. You know, I'm a LeBron fan. Oh, right, so right, mm -hmm. as I was watching that series, I'm like, okay, well, you know, Cleveland might be full one now. Cause I know LeBron was gonna get them late championships. So I'm like, okay, well, shout out to. It was it was really both of them was the underdog if you think about it because mm -hmm. both franchises ain't won a uh, World Series and I don't know how long yeah, we was a hundred years plus. yes yeah, we, and, and they, they was like I want to say fifty or seventy I can't right. remember exact number and then Cleveland had y'all down for they like did. what what it was like three one in the series or something Man, like yeah. that yeah and then they went to seven games mm -hmm. they aired that the other day and yeah. I actually watched that last game and wow. uh, I wish that was on yeah the closer was a uh, Rawlins Chapman. We got Chapman now. Okay. You know, the Yankees got him. They got him after that year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Chapman, he got that gas. Ooh. But, yeah, I watched that game, and, and just in the moment, you know, you watch it in the moment, you like, okay, but, you know, as time goes on, you tend to forget things. So I was just like, I was watching that game like, I did not know that they went seven games, then they went in the extra yeah, innings. Yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. like, they was battling. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was a good word. They were hungry. Both, both of them were hungry. So. Yeah, yeah, and it, it was good, man. It was good. That was, that was a great World Series right there. We we've been in the drought, but I'm a Yankees fan. Yeah, yeah. I think, man, we gonna have one coming soon. I ain't gonna say who, but somebody, the, 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 a certain team was doing yeah. some illegal stuff and oh, really? kept us up. Yeah, them. a lot of times the, the franchise, yep. just, you know, recently happened. I'm pretty sure oh, y'all, yeah, <laughs> probably y'all fans out there. So I ain't gonna <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, we're gonna get back to it. I think I think uh this upcoming season once all this pandemic and stuff slow down, yeah. I think it's gonna be pretty good for us this year. Yeah, know? yeah. I became one like for the same reason Dog C did pretty much uh, uh Derek G to them. I love Derek G. When we got A Rod, I was happy about that. Yeah, so. And uh, you know, for the most part, school like Boston. Right, right. And so, always that yeah, right. so I was like, like I Group for the same team, because right. you know me and McCuzz, we, we I don't even know if we like it in the same team. <laughs> nah. But um, so I was just like, well, I'm gonna go rivalry team. They right. were years, years back. But I remember growing up, a lot of people from the South rooted for uh, the Braves and stuff. Right, yeah. right. And you know, I kind of liked the, their players, Chipper Jones and mm -hmm. all them, uh, Andrew Jones and all them John Smokes and stuff. But I just I always had a thing for New York. Yeah. So, sir, so that, right. that's why I became a Yankees fan, man. It's been at home ever since. Yes, I, mean, I won't wear another baseball hat unless I had <laughs> yeah, You know, sir. back in the day, I used to kind of switch it up, like just for the fashion. Right, right. Uh, right. Just straight Yankees, yeah, like I represent. Through, through. Yes, sir. Yeah. I, I must admit, uh, I think um, that was like me too, as far as the fashion. I used to rock different logos and stuff, but then as I got so into it, I was like, you know what? I, no matter what color I'm wearing, what type of fit, I'm gonna find a Yankee head to go <laughs> go with. Right. I'm not gonna go nowhere else, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's been my team for a little while now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna what about uh, NBA? Oh, man, see now this week is complicated. We were mm. talking about the bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were talking about the bandwagon, yeah. really, which me I don't consider the bandwagon because I'm not going. I'm not switching per se for the team. Speak I'm, I'm, I'm a LeBron fan. Okay, so right, so okay. this is how it goes. 
as a LeBron fan, where he goes, I go, you know, I'm rooting for him. And, you know, I kind of, you know, I'm a, you know, of course, if he on the team, I'm going to root for the team. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, I can't say, I don't know if you want to break that down as a bandwagon fan because no. I'm sticking with my guy. Or, you, you, or, you're, you know, you're a player fan. Right, right. 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 So, that, that's, yeah, that's yeah. different. Right, mm-hmm. you know, right. It is. But now I do know some people, you know them well. You know, Mr. Nixon, he don't care about, he a player fan, but he's not going to follow certain players to certain teams because he just hates that team. Right. right, right. <laughs> you, you the same way? Uh, no, the because you know it, well. it was a love-hate relationship with the Lakers. I mean, because so many of my guys, some of my own boys, they were Lakers fans. Mm-hmm. And uh, my me being a LeBron fan, you know, they always had that debate. You know, some cold yeah, bitch over the LeBron. Yeah, right, right. So right. most of the Lakers fans used to hate LeBron. And I, I'm talking crazy back to them, so I kind of hated the Lakers, which secretly, Shaq is my favorite player. Okay. So okay. I used to have to root for the Lakers on the low, but I yeah. just, you know, <laughs> it was just one of the quiet things yeah. on the inside. So, uh-huh. uh it was always debate. Kobe LeBron, Kobe LeBron. Lakers fans used to always talk crazy. And then when he actually went to LA, it's like, okay, now what I'm going to do. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. But I'm rooting for him, though, man. I, I think that uh, this is going to be a good year for us whenever everything started back up. I think they're going to take the chill. LeBron going to get that fourth, man. You know, once again, going to make the argument bigger that he's the GOAT. You know, but <laughs> I know a lot of people that might hate on that, but hey, it's all right, you know. Just stay tuned. I got you. I got you. <laughs> what about you, John? Okay. Once again, we're going back to the shot. It's yeah. got to be the Bulls. I mean, <laughs> yeah. back in the day, if anybody watched that documentary, the uh, oh, yeah. Last Dance, oh, yeah. Yeah. and when they, when they really said that the Bulls, back before Jordan, it was it were a joke in Chicago. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you, you would go see soccer before you watch wanted to go Bulls. watch the Bulls. I mean, you could get tickets. They might even invite you to play. You said, so close. You want to play? Come on, play. They right. were that bad. Then when Jordan got there, it picked up. Right. He, we energized the city, we energized that franchise, and I've been hooked bulls. That was like, you know, if I put it on, on a scale, it was Cubs, Bears, and Bulls. And then once the Bulls jumped up, then, mm-hmm. you know, they, uh, they, 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 they moved up the scale. And right now, it's the Bears, Bulls, Cubs, you know? Right. But, um, yeah, that's what hooked me was, it was Jordan came, when he came, he brought life to the city, life to the team, and right. it just, it was, it was a great thing. Yeah, and that just kind of hooked me right on in. So that made all my stuff, all my teams simple. I can go to one state, Illinois, go to Chicago, <laughs> and get all the gear I want for yeah. every team that I like, and right. ain't got to worry about it. So I got you. Yeah. What about you, my man? Who you, who you, who you digging? Oh well, man, my Jordan made me love basketball. Okay, you know, like I said, I grew up in the Jordan era, era you know, and that's who made me love basketball for years. When Jordan was in the league, I was a Bulls fan. Right. Then when Jordan retired. Much like a lot of other people that watch NBA basketball, mm-hmm. they kind of took a hiatus and they like, well, who's going to be the next great by this right. time Kobe coming on? That's how a lot of people came Kobe, a right. Lakers yeah. fan. It, either they already liked the magic mm-hmm. uh, and then they just, you know, when Kobe came, they just picked up after right, that. Right, right. But, you know, so I just kind of took a break from basketball, like, oh, who am I like next? All right, AI came. Uh, that he got drafted yeah. by the uh, Sixers. Yeah, yeah. yeah so... Yeah. You know, AI, I remember my game at the AI when I really got to it because I was like, you know, uh, I like to dribble, I like to shoot. And AI, he had all the guns <laughs> in the world and stuff. So I became an AI fan. I won't necessarily say a 76ers fan, but AI, AI. and I like the KG, and then Tim Duncan came. Tim Duncan was that dude. So, so I kind of like those three players, KG, AI, and Tim Duncan. But I got to say, it's, if I had a list, it would be Jordan, AI, and then Tim Duncan. Okay. But Tim Duncan, I seen what the Spurs were doing, and then at the time I started like Tim Duncan coming out of Wake Forest, cause uh, cause, and uh, yeah, AI made me like Georgetown as far as college, college hoop. So I'm a big time AI fan, and um, but Tim Duncan came along, I was like, yeah, cause I always been like a big man at heart. You know, I ain't that tall, I ain't no six, 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 eleven person. So I was like, you know, I, I, I like the big man game, rebounds. Mr. Fundamental. Right. So I was like, yeah. okay, I like Timmy. Big All right. Then I mean, you had Twin Towers, Dave yes, Robinson, sir. Tim Dunn. Yes, sir. Bet I'm a Spurs fan. So yes, I just I, I rolled away with the Spurs. We won our first championship '98. Ain't looked back. You know, '98, '03, '05, '07, oh, '14, okay. five rings. Okay. You know, and I've been I've been rocking with them ever since then. So I'm 20 plus years in with the Spurs. Like I said, at the time as a teenager. 
things I, I just started selling. I, I ain't want to jump from team to team yeah. and stuff like that. So that you know, that's how I felt about NBA and basketball. Mm -hmm. I like, just pick a team. So I just picked the uh, Spurs. Okay. And that that's my squad, man. You know. I ain't never had nothing bad against the Spurs. Uh, LeBron had their battles with them, so yeah. I, I, I kind of had a lot of respect for Tim Duncan. Though he was always one of the great players I used to watch. Uh, an underrated player at that. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's good. Yeah. He was quiet. He yeah. was real spoken, outspoken. He was like that silent killer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but his game spoke for him. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I can't say he was one of my favorite players. There was somebody I used to like to, to kind of watch. You know. I, Never ruled against the Spurs only when they played against LeBron. So, yeah, in yeah. that time, like, yeah, and man. they they had a lot of battles. Yeah, you know? some, some LeBron won, some yeah, Tim exactly. won. I still feel like that we should have went back to back. We should have uh, uh, actually um, three peated. Uh, <laughs> we should have beat when Ray Allen hit the three point in the corner. Uh, that killed us right there. But uh, it's all good. It was you know? just their time. They Shout out to Ray. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you, but. But, you know, as we talk about sports, man, I kind of want to just tie in, you know, the culture. Like, okay. uh, how, how the culture changed, you know, okay. just as far as what you've seen, how, how it's transitioned over the years and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, um, the culture of basketball, man, you, you can kind of tell, like, it's, it's, I mean, a lot of people relate to it. You almost live through sports in, in a sense, you know, and when, you, when you talk about it like that. But, uh, I mean, Come on, help me out with it. I'm kind of lost for words to kind of want to explain it the way you got to give me your, it, give me your it, view. Well, culture, I mean, it, it's they're outspoken. These, mm -hmm. these NBA, especially, I mean, NFL, they speak out, but LeBron is like one of the most. He changed the culture. He get out there, and, and you start to see now these players giving back. They're yeah. helping the children. They're having camps. They, 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 they're changing. They, they're making young kids understand, you know, hey, you might be in poverty or whatnot, but you you can have a dream and you can make your dream. You can watch what I did, and I didn't have everything. And now I'm up here. You can do this too. They they giving hope, you know. Right. And then with the whole, I mean, they, NBA has it, and that NBA is kind of more to me more unique than football or whatnot because they right. have their own. You watch how they dress. They got their own mm -hmm. swag. They got their own shoes. Right. And it's just. Man, the NBA culture is totally different than any other culture in sports to me. They, they're more in rap and NBA has no. has merged. Right. You, know? Yeah. you know, they're like you know, it, it's you watch the All Star. I mean, they're a celebrity game. You got like Quavo and, and them out there, rappers out there. You know, a celebrity game yeah. shooting with the NBA players. So I, I think. And you can you can credit that to like the Anna Iverson. Yes, yeah. you know. That, matter of fact, he was one of the groundbreakers. Yeah. He, all the chains and try to be brave, you know, rapper, the tattoo, and, uh, and stuff. The tattoo and which at first they tried to push it all to the side. Yeah. But that was part of the culture. He mm -hmm. kind of instituted that. I, I think that uh, now that you say that, it kind of helped me out. Um, I think that because uh, with the NBA, is you have so many different personalities, and all of them are outspoken, so you can kind of gravitate to, like you say, the Anna Iverson. It made you. It made the kids on the block feel like, okay, I can, I can still be me and and, and be in the other eyes, you know. Mm -hmm. Like uh, even to me, like LeBron, I think he's more so how he changes for us the the ideal role model. You right. know what I'm saying? How he touched the communities. Like it's okay to be great, but also still speak on certain issues for us injustices in America. Right. Or if you would think of somebody who would be the perfect father, he's one of the guys who's been with the, his. The I one woman you know, throughout yeah. his whole the career, career you never right. heard of him with no scandals or cheating or nothing true. like that. And then one of the most important things I like about him is uh just how he how he is with his kids. You know, like yeah. he's there in their lives. He got them. He got them about to be some. You know, his son hopefully gonna be in the NBA soon, and his other kids is like as a as a role model, as a father. That was the one thing I like about him too. So you know. It's, it's, it's the personalities in the NBA really translate a lot. Yeah, and that's true, man, because, see, like back in the day, like, I don't, did you watch the last dance with the yeah, boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, you know, it's political matters going on in North Carolina and stuff like that, and George Mama wanted him to get involved, but he, he just yeah. kind of sprayed away. He said his thing was basketball, so right. he, kind, he kind of played into that notion of, uh, 
shut up and shoot or shut up and drill me like yeah, that right. sports broadcast yeah. uh, or like that lady said to LeBron. But LeBron is like, no, nah, I won't shut up and right. drill. Right. I'll shut up and shoot. More than that. Like, like, yeah, I'm more than basketball. Like, you know, this this is my life. Right. And, and I choose which direction it goes in. So LeBron kind of, you know, with the I can't breathe, you know, he kind of stood up about that a long time ago when it against police brutality and stuff right, like that. Right, and then you right. see him opening up schools and stuff for uh, uh, unfortunate yeah. youth right, and stuff right. like that. So I think I think the culture has shifted from like in the eighties and the nineties yeah, into yeah, like yeah, yeah to yeah, like yeah, the two thousand. Yeah. Like like something just came to my phone earlier with Steph Curry wrote you know say her name on his golf cleats right you right, know right. Breonna Taylor so right. you know they make they make more statements and I I won't say necessary more so in basketball I, I, I think it may be broadcast a little bit more like yeah. if you seen like where the WNBA right. trying to uh, get the lady out because the Black Lives Matter movement yeah, like yeah. she's totally against them they like no nah, you don't understand the culture right, right. and I think they said the WNBA is like 80 percent black right you know athletes and stuff like that so you know so they're using their platform to bring awareness right. to right. certain right. issues like that which you know i i i man you know commend all them right. on doing that and having that justice and stuff like that but another thing like you brought up about the culture about the shoe game right you right. know shoe like, game's crazy yeah the shoe <laughs> game <laughs> crazy and i and i now that's your Jordan prospect you, right you, know, you can't take nothing away from white when it comes to that shoe game i mean uh I think that's one thing that even if you ever forget about him on the court, you will always remember yeah, Jordan by his shoes. Yeah, that's yeah. something that's always gonna be in the community. That's something that's always gonna be. I'm talking about my kids. Kids don't know about right, Jordan mm -hmm. based off his shoes, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I think that he, he definitely made an impact in his own little way. Yeah, he's a trendsetter. He's right. a trendsetter. Yeah, yeah. 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 he up to make. You know, not just make the NBA money. You can go out and make your own money, do your own thing. Because he broke away from Nike and just had the Jordan brand. Yeah, right? that's you know? true. Uh -huh. And that, that's, you know, before it was, well, back early shoot game, I remember Reebok, uh, Converse, Converse yeah, Adidas, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and Nike. Yeah. And then anything else other than that, it was like, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, he, and, and he, with him breaking in, now you got Steph Curry doing what? Under Armour? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Everybody got these signature shoes, and mm -hmm. everybody and the athletes are making money, you know, besides what they do on the court. Right. Do y'all right. think any other shoe were compared to the Jordans as far as popularity wise? I don't think no, so. Me, I me think man. Jordan's on a whole nother level than yeah. all of them. I think that, uh, I think the reason why is at the time when Jordan came out with this shoe. See, now I think it's more common for everybody to have their own thing, mm -hmm. so. You know, it's not as a big of an impact, but when Jordan did, it was like everybody was on one accord. Okay, like you said, you went Converse, so you went certain thing. No one really had their own little thing that was just really popular at the time. Mm -hmm. So when Jordan came out and he did it, it's like he's, you know, he already started controversy. Like he wearing his own shoe. Of course, you know, he was getting fined for wearing yeah. his own shoe mm -hmm. for a period of time. Yeah. But at the time when he came out with it, it was just the impact was just. It was no better time to do it than uh -huh. when he did it. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. about to tell on myself, uh, <laughs> age wise, because when Jordan first came out, it was sixty dollars. Yeah. And it was red and black. Of course I got a pair. I was in eighth or ninth grade. No, ninth grade, I was in high school. I got about hey, I want a pair of Jordan Williams. So we went downtown in Hattiesburg to JC Penney's when JC Penney's was downtown across from the uh Post office downtown. Yeah, and went in there and I got them, the red and black. Ah, they were just awesome. Like, yeah, <laughs> I went to school. Going, huh? and, yeah, and I went to school and I was like the man walking. You know, you know how Michael Jordan, uh, Michael Jackson was walking in the floor. Like, yeah, that's how I walked. Like, yeah, I got my jet. Like, oh, they, they, they. And, uh, I mean, it was like off. And then the price then was sixty dollars, which for that time period was outrageous for a pair of shoes. Right. My dad was like, six dollars for what? Mm -hmm. what, what they gonna do for you? They gonna uh, play ball? What? <laughs> no, they 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 the shoes. You gotta have them. Jordan. Yeah, and I got them. Yeah. And, um, that 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 was. And then after that, you know, I I remember from one to I don't even know what series we on now of Jordan, but I remember. 
Uh, the very first one. Yeah, yeah, the last one was doing uh, 34. <laughs> yeah. 34, I think 35 is coming out soon. Mm-hmm. But 34, yeah, they done made it all the way up to 34 now. Okay. Cause they, 34 is dope now. I rock them. I want to get me a pair. I, I don't go past the retros. But yeah, yeah, I'm just stick with the retro. I'm stick with the retro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah, I got you, I got you. From, from one on up. Okay. There's a couple of them I, I don't care for too much, too much but. I rock them if it's a Jordan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But that and and then that's because, like I said, I was a Jordan fan, yeah. and like like you were saying earlier, I always have to debate with people who the best out of Jordan and yeah, LeBron. Yeah. I'm gonna go and put mine out there. Okay. Jordan is the go. Okay. Point so, blank. Period. Okay. You feel me? Uh, 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 is did you have a reason? Is it? Cause I, to me, I, I got think, six reasons. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's, to me I think it's a bias depending on what area you in because I t- I know yeah I think I talked to about uh, some of the guys that you know the generation above me and they you know they pretty much gonna say for the most part not all but for the most part they'll say Jordan and I think that uh, when it's your era it's hard for you to see anybody else. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, I, you got you, you give props and props, dude. Yeah. Yeah. See, and, they hate, they be hate. They don't <laughs> hate props, man. Look yeah, ahead, I'm good. You know, I, I'm a LeBron like, like, like as a man, mm-hmm. fan. Like I, I applaud what oh, LeBron oh. do off the court, but I'm not a LeBron fan on the court. That's okay. just me. And I used to be when he first came to the league. Uh-huh. We beat him uh, in his first championship. Uh-huh. The Spurs beat him. But I was just like, you know, and I, but when he, I ain't gonna lie, when he made the jump to Miami, I was just like, Jordan never left the, the Bulls. Right, right. But this before the documentary, I'm not knowing okay. everything that's going on. I know that Jordan went to play with the Wizards and there stuff like know. that. Okay. But, and that's just me. I, I, I was never, you know, RIP to the late Kobe Bryant. I yeah. was never a Kobe fan, ever. Yeah. I used to always root against him, whoever they played. Right. Whoever LeBron played, like, I'm not a Golden State fan by by a script, but I pull for Golden State every time they play LeBron, you know what I mean? But having said that, it's more so the fans. That's kind of how I feel about the Saints fans, too. Like, I pulled for the Saints, but then the Saints fans kind of made me like, like, y'all act like y'all team the best in the world, you know what I mean? Y'all only got one Super Bowl. But that's kind of like with LeBron fan, like, y'all make that argument that he – Better than Jordan, like, uh, oh, dude, just give uh, props what props do. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to let Joe Harry speak I'm, on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to stay yeah, up. Then, then, then I'll let you come, man. Yeah. 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 This is my opinion. Errors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, 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 you know, they, we have this conversation all the time, but I can't say it's two different eras right. of basketball and the game does it evolve. Right. You know, so I can't say, yeah, in Jordan's era, he's the greatest of all time. In uh, LeBron's era, he's gonna be the greatest all time. Uh-huh. I can't compare the two and try to put them together because I, I mean, because then it, then that brings a whole. What about Will Chamberlain? What about Magic Johnson? Mm-hmm. Then now you got this big. What about Kobe? Right. It, it's now if, they, if LeBron and Jordan was in the same era and played together, then I could just I could say which one was the true. Go. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, me personally, like I said, I'm a LeBron fan. I think also, I think LeBron is go. You know, that's just me personally. I ain't got nothing against Jordan. Let me, let me oh, say oh, that. Oh, oh, he, he, he the best of all three to the <laughs> LeBron is the greatest player that ever touched basketball simply because of, Ooh. I think that this is my personal reason. I mean, he hasn't had some of the luxuries that Jordan has had, like a Hall of Fame coach or or. A guy is as good as Pippen. There's not one player you can say that LeBron played with that's better than Pippen. And they probably I don't say better, but he had D Wade. Yeah, yeah, but what and D Wade was older. Lost with yeah, D-Wade. he was older. Like they, D Wade wasn't now if he would have if he would have played with D Wade in 06. Like with Shaq with her? Yeah, well, then you'd have had an argument with me. But to this day I say when you got Phil on your team and you got Scotty and you know, I don't think that, you know, and I'm not taking away from Mike because Mike was a bad boy, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think, like, you can't say, well, LeBron had a Hall of Fame coach. He never did. Or you can't say he had he had a player like Scott to, well, okay, if I don't feel like going the best player today, I'm going to put you on. No, he ain't never had that luck. Can I ask you this? <laughs> you know? I, I'm, in, I'm in the years with D-Wade in the league when LeBron went over there. Uh, they came in the league in the same. They came in the league at the same time. So, uh, and, they, and they went. What it was like? Oh six when they won. 
Oh yeah, the, the Miami won the 06, and then LeBron came in like, what was it, uh, 11? 11. Yeah. Okay, so about eight years? Yeah. Well, that's, that's about how many years Scotty was in the uh, league yeah. before they won one. So it's about the same. Yeah, I mean, hey, but you at know? the same time, you know, like I said, you look at these players, you can't, Scotty was in. He was seasoned. Every, yeah. Everybody watched the documentary. I gained so I wish Scotty was one of my favorite players. And he was number two in the league. Yeah. I will give you that. Scotty was so underrated simply because he was behind Jordan. Right. But you take Jordan from that equation and you just get Scotty his own, like he'd probably be one of the one of the best players yeah. we talked about. Yeah, Scotty said that. Yeah, Scotty said that. Uh Jordan left. Scotty went on. Yeah, when Jordan left, Scotty did that, yeah. but he couldn't. He couldn't hold up. There was the other one around, but he said take Scotty out of the equation, which he oh, did well, for, for yeah. one well, year. And the, for most of the season, he came back at the end of the year. Yeah, but Jordan yeah. had that team down. It was it was a bad yeah, it true. was a bad drop off when Scotty left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Jordan had to work hard. So you mean to tell me, without this person, I couldn't win at all? Like that's my that's my argument. Like I can honestly say, no matter where LeBron done went to. Uh, he in LA, don't want to see no wins. He in Cleveland, went to the championship for how many years? He went to Miami, four straight trips to the final. No matter what, no matter what jersey he touched, no matter who he played with, you know when LeBron go to this team, yeah. we going to the championship. Yeah. Win, lose, or draw, yeah. we gonna get there. He, I, he the best number two in sports. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> he the best second player. In the <laughs> Okay. I ain't gonna say that. I mean, LeBron is good. LeBron is good, and, and he deserves to be in that conversation yeah. at the top of being one of the greatest. But at the same time, it was proven from Allen Iverson. One person, you gotta have some help somewhere. Yeah, you, know, you, you do. can't do it by yourself. Yeah, you do. You know, Jordan tried it by himself till he got Scotty, and then made the other people around. And I think that's the same philosophy that uh, LeBron has. Yeah, you know, he, he. I mean, he had Wade, which Wade was a he he had Bobby. But he had way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Kyrie is true. Now. Yeah, now Kyrie, yeah, but no, no. but that was, that's another that was crazy that's, for that's another thing I can use to my argument when it comes to LeBron. You talk about Kyrie, you talk about Love, Bosch. None of those guys were doing. They seen. They had no championship dreams. No, they couldn't even smell the trophy yeah. until LeBron came. Right. Now, if you now if you if you want to say D Wade, okay, you know D Wade won one first. Mm -hmm. But that was when LeBron came. They was first round, first round exit every year after that championship. Yeah. So D Wade wasn't even thinking about a championship until LeBron came. Are so you saying there so, was more than Shaq that helped him get that? No, 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 no. I'm saying true, true enough. Like I'm, Shaq played his part, but D Wade was the main. He was flash. He was the main yeah. focus of that championship. Yeah. I'm saying after that championship, he had, he had no. Idea when his next ring was gonna come. From. I got you. Yeah. But but I'm like y'all though, man. It's it's pretty much the generation thing. But I still stand firm on Michael Jordan as the greatest yeah. NBA player of all time. All right. But because you got Bill Russell, yep. you got Will Chamberlain in his years, so you can throw all them in the mix. And then like I said, when Jordan exited and he was on his uh, way out, then you got Kobe. Mm -hmm. But but don't forget about Tim Duncan. Yeah, so, I mean a lot of people don't throw that in the mix, but. That's like uh, my guy uh, Robert Nixon said. He said he said ask this question: Do you think that Jordan would be able to beat Tim Duncan and uh, in the two thousand and stuff like that? that? Like if he played against? I don't know. And and I thought about it and I said, Rob, I said that's a good question. I said, Yeah, you're right. I said because LeBron struggled with the Spurs a lot of years, so you know, bad. and stuff like that. But I was like, I'm I'm answering that question. I'm say yeah. Because if when you think about all the teams that Jordan beat, he beat the Supersonics in the finals, and they was the best team that year. Yeah. He beat Charles Barkley in the Phoenix, yeah. they was the best team. He beat Carl Malone them two right. times, and they was the best team. And he also beat uh, who's the, uh, well, we went through this the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm just gonna go back to the East. He beat Indiana, the yeah. Pacers. They yeah. was the best team. Detroit. He beat Detroit. They was the best team but in they, the East. They... Oh yeah, and he beat the Lake Show. Yep. Imagine Johnson. I, I don't think that when it comes to Jordan, and, and like I said, I do my research, and y'all can say y'all are from that era, but I'm going to say it like this. When it comes to the finals, and this is my other argument for LeBron, if you want to say Jordan had a harder road to get to the finals, I'll give you that. 
But who had tougher finals competition? I think LeBron hands down because I don't think there is no team that Le that Jordan faced in the finals that was better than his team. Uh, Utah yeah. was pushing it. Were they? Yeah. You, uh, uh, yes. I don't Utah. think so. U Utah, I mean, Seattle? Uh, because even when Jordan left, they still had a chance. So you just can't say you can't say that. Okay, Jordan was the only reason Utah didn't have a championship because Jordan left for what like a year and a half, and they yeah. still, even after Jordan, they still couldn't get to the chip. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he beat Larry Bird. No, he never beat Larry Bird. Yes, he did in the East. He did never. get to the final. Never. He never beat Larry Bird. Hey, he never. never. Come on, we gonna get back to y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys. But, but, but I, I, I just did a small fight night. Yeah. Isaiah Tung, he beat them. Yeah, bad Isaiah, boys. Isaiah beat him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, for back and forth, they beat the one game. He went and beat up and beat him next year. Yeah. Hey, but but once once he got over that hump, he ain't never looked back. True. All right, so but I, we we know Jordan resume. We yeah. know why he beat. He yeah. beat he beat the reigning MVP Todd Barkley. He beat the reigning MVP Carl Malone. Mm -hmm. He beat the reigning MVP uh, Isaiah Thomas. Right. He beat uh, reigning MVP Magic Johnson. Yeah. yeah, you know, and this goes on and on. I mean, all, MVP. MVP. <laughs> all them MVPs in Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not taking that away. From LeBron you. lost to Dirk the Whiskey. Yeah. And <laughs> Dirk, Come on, you said that's a better team than all them teams we just made. Wait, wait, I can honestly say, I can say that that's one team, that's the only team that he lost to. Okay, well, that, you know what I'm saying? that brought him down. Okay, well, maybe they were neck and neck, that brought him down. I'm not, I'm not going to take that away from him because, like I said, that team, was, but if we talking basketball, if anybody was paying attention to that Dallas Maverick team, by the West being so tough, as people say. They are. The Dallas Mavericks ran through the West to get to that championship. So to me, that's one of the most yeah, underrated squad. That's one of the most underrated championship teams ever because they swept the Lakers that year. They uh they beat the Spurs to get to the championship, I believe. Yeah, they the beat the Spurs. Yeah. So so you mean to tell me in this same year, the Dallas team they beat the Spurs, the Lakers, and they beat Miami. How good they really were, people don't get on that credit. Because yeah. they were the Dallas Mavericks. Right. They got yeah. swept under the rug. Yeah, they still the Mavericks. And then, <laughs> listen, the Lakers were the, the defending champs that year. Yeah. They had just won the championship mm -hmm. year before. They swept them. They sure did. I remember that. Yeah, they swept them. The Spurs, everybody knew the Spurs was coming out the Spurs. <laughs> they, they thought the Spurs <laughs> were coming out the West. They ran through the Spurs. They beat uh, Miami, what was it, 4 2? Yeah. So man, that was a great team, man. But like I said, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna take nothing away. He lost that he shouldn't have. Had, but man, mm -hmm. when I say uh, in, when I say best best basketball player, uh, rebounding, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what best, I was gonna bring that's up. Player. That's what I was gonna yeah. bring up before that's we cut there. before we cut it short because I was gonna say, um, yeah, LeBron, all around player, he's the best. Two guard, one guard, yeah. team captain. Michael Jordan hand down. I, I, okay. You know, we hand down. He changed the game. But, and then at the time, too, I will say this. The East was on top. They were the better conference oh, right. when Michael Jordan played. Because right. even, I mean, people sleep on the Cavaliers with, uh, with uh, Daly and them mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but the East, when LeBron coming up, <laughs> garbage can. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to say that because you still had. I think the AC, the 8 and the 7 C had losing records. Okay. When Jordan made it to the playoffs in the first couple years, he had losing records. Don't nobody talk about that, though. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he got twenty. Uh, <laughs> John ain't losing records when he made it to the playoffs. That's right. So. That's right. That's true. That's true. What, what does that tell you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know. But you know that's gonna forever be on. Here, but. Yeah, we can go on and on. Yeah, yeah. I can be like. But you, you can <laughs> but you can address some of that in your podcast, yeah, man. Tell, tell them what to expect out of your yeah, podcast. Yeah. When it comes to this sports talk podcast, man, we gonna really just it's gonna be something like this, man. We are gonna be debating. We are gonna be all type of topics that we touch on. Everything that's going on in the world right now will come to sports. We're going to touch on that, man. It's just going to be just real talk. Of course, I'm going to have certain people come on, and they're going to gonna have some of these joy guys, things like that nature. But, yeah, I'm, well, I'm going to bring them on, and I'm going to shut them down. It's going to be <laughs> it's gonna be things like that, man. But it's going to be it's gonna be something real good for y'all to check out, man. So y'all stay tuned for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we appreciate y'all tuning in, man. And, no doubt. 
Make sure you check out, man, my boy John Henry next week as well. You know, I'm a cousin, though. We're going to be talking about education, man, and during this pandemic and stuff like that. And just, you know, what what's the ride? It's going to be a good one. So y'all make sure y'all tune in, man. Till next time, see you later. All right.